dude, I am feeling so retro right now. 80s Roy Orbison, whatever. What, what the heck is it? Roy Orbison. Whatever, I don't know. I think he was before my time. But I'm really old, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Shit happens when you get old, dude. Anyways, yeah, my brain's kind of fried because I just finished working out on beach here in the Philippines, in Nitao, has a fabulous, wonderful humidity and the ocean is so good for you, the healing benefits. But um, yeah, I did some CrossFit stuff, I sweat majorly. I feel like I lost like five to 10 pounds and like every time I trained down there without my tires, battle ropes, blah, 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 trampoline, all that stuff. But yeah, just wanted to tell you a quick hi. Look at this freaking retro. <laughs> Roy Orbison, is that his name? Comment below. Hey, okay, so I hope you guys don't hate me for changing my hair so drastically. I had to. I mean, you know, I was rocking the Amy Winehouse hair and I miss it so much. But um, it like ruined my hair. It got stuck, like literally, like the beehive thing, cause just constantly, you know, oh, teasing it and uh, just, I don't know. I would fall asleep with it on blah 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 and I just I just wore that hair for almost a year and it got stuck and I couldn't brush my hair anymore so anyways decided well just let it get healthy you know just cut it all off um, dye my hair black I was changing so many different colors from pink to blonde whatever I don't know but um yeah I'm, I'm done with that phase and I'm, I'm learning how to have healthy hair once again and I'm gonna stick with it like that and just let it grow back and be happy with it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, I did everything. We did everything possible here in the Philippines. Put fresh coconut water on it, uh, everything. And uh, I don't know, it just, it just, it would not brush out. Like literally, like seriously, it was stuck, you know, um, teasing it constantly and just leaving it be and, and, and wearing that beehive for so long, it just, it wouldn't, it, I couldn't brush it anymore. So, snipped it all off. Ooh, that doesn't sound good if a man's like watching this right now, does it? Or a dog. Well, I don't know if a dog can understand what I'm saying. No, wait, dogs do understand what people say, huh? Hmm. Well, yeah, because like if you talk to a dog, it totally understands you. So, yeah, would it understand like a snip? <gasps> That's not good. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to make jokes about dogs and getting snipped or whatever, but I mean, it just came out that way. So I hope you guys don't like think that I'm like, I don't know, this weird person, but I am a weird per person. Yeah. Uh, um. What was I gonna say? Dude, I totally forgot. Oh my goodness, you know what? It's time for me to like, just chill out and veg and binge to YouTube. Dude, you know it'd be a good idea to go to one of those like, street food vendors. I think it's called Carinderia. Well, tell me below in a comment if I got that right, because I've been practicing it for like three months. Carinderia. I think that's what it's called. Getting there. I'm getting there. I've got the Filipino accent now for sure though. Yesterday, oh my gosh. Philippines is the best. As far as beauty is concerned, there are limitations as far as finding a, an acrylic technician to add nail extensions. But I got gel nails. Believe this. $8.00 and a full set, brand new full set of eyelashes for $12. I love the Philippines.